razi Lo svaradi Lo temani Lo carfati Lo marokaj, lo amerikaj Lo rusi A ni jehudi Cindy Feder. I'm the coordinator of Project Daybreak. This project was started a little less than a year ago. I realized ago. after getting to know some of the families that they were not very very uh, familiar with the Jewish custom. And there was a growing gap between the children who go to, to religious schools and, are, and know Hebrew and know about Judaism and their parents who are really um, lacking in basic information. As you can see, the, the synagogue is the, is the meeting point between the two communities, and this we felt would be the, the proper uh, setting to have such classes to bring both communities closer together. What we've taken upon ourselves is to try to combine the neighborhoods, to try to get everyone to understand each other and, uh, and to help each other. Uh, right now we have two classes for women. One is taught by R Mindy Marcus, one is taught by Rav Ruven Yasu, a veteran Ethiopian uh, rabbi. We teach about, we teach Jewish holidays and customs and we also teach about parenting and Shabbat. We teach Hebrew reading and writing and then the, we realize how important this is because most of these women never had the, uh, the opportunity to go to get any formal schooling. They are, for the most part, illiterate both in Amharic, their native tongue, and in Hebrew. My name is Mindy Marcus, and I live in Nofeaville, and I'm very happy to be part of this wonderful project and I come to teach um, one hour a week, the Ethiopian women, and it's very gratifying. We learn about Jewish traditions and holidays and Hebrew. I think that they really enjoy learning about the Jewish traditions to compare it to the traditions of what they do, what they used to do in Ethiopia. <laughs> it's the generation gap learn a little bit more about what their children are learning about in school. Men's, there are two men's classes. They're both taught by Rav Rachamim Goshen, who himself is also a uh, native Ethiopian. I Rav Rachman teaches uh, about the Shabbat, holidays, Jewish customs, Parshat Shavua, um, and he also has a special class where the, the students come to him with questions that they have themselves prepared, and he gives them the answers, and it's more like a discussion group. We not have a men's class, but Hebrew, and they are really begging us to institute such a class. The reason we haven't done it so far is we don't have adequate funding to pay for a teacher. Meets once a week. It's a very, very popular class. We usually have at least 40 children cramming into a room. And right now, as we speak, is a wonderful program of, uh, you can see there, it's a wonderful program of what we call a Votu Banim, which is fathers and sons, fathers and daughters, who come together to learn together under the guidance of Harav Rachavim. <laughs> and, uh, and it's a wonderful thing. We get tremendous turnout, and uh, it's really great. Children get a little prize at the end, and it really shows the bond, and it shows how the generations can work together. And, uh, and sometimes there's a disparity between the Jewish education that the children have versus the Jewish education the parents have. And we're trying to bridge that gap and make everyone be able to work together. Okay. Okay. Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it?
אבא שלי, אני מלמדת את אבא שלי. כן, הוא מגיע היום, לומד עם הרב רחמים? כן. אתה לומד לבד או אתה בא עם אבא? אה, כן? ואתה לומד עם הרב רחמים כל שבוע? כן. אתה בא לבד או אתה בא עם אבא? מה אה, כן, אבא מגיע, ומה אתם לומדים ביחד? כן, אז... אני יודעת שבת, והיה נעים להיות עם הרב רחמים ועם סינדי, ותודה על מה שעזרת לנו. ו... מה הפרשה, ו... ו... נו, ומלמדים את ההורים על מה מדובר, ו... תסתכל גם בעברית או הכל באמהרית? בעברית. אה, כן? ואני מסביר את זה לאמהרית. that go beyond the regular classroom learning, which are, we organize special trips and um, lectures, we, uh, Shabbos meals, etc. We try to organize it around the, the time of the year, the, according to the, the Jewish calendar. So. One of the highlights of our program was making a mock Seder for Passover, where we had everybody singing and dancing and following along and laughing and enjoying and I would say that was one of the most gratifying times. Well, we have just acquired, which is really fantastic, um, our Amharit transliterated Siddur, which uh, are really coming in handy a lot. For, for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, we were able to procure um, machzorim, prayer books, in Amharic. The men, for the most part, do know how to read in Amharic. They are not so literate in Hebrew, but they know Amharic. The program is not just about learning, it's about caring. It's an opportunity for both communities to come closer. So we can definitely appreciate what, the, what a recent Ola from Ethiopia could go through. I think that's one of our main goals and we really feel that's been achieved. That they feel that they could speak Hebrew a little better, that they can follow along with Israeli life and Jewish life and feel more part of our community. We can all live together as one under one wonderful area in Beit Shem, which is neighbors. Okay. Okay.